Hi everyone, today we're going to look at a new feature in Closet Pro called Catalogs. Uh, there's a lot to it, but essentially what it's going to allow you to do is assign specific components to a specific catalog, as well as give that catalog specific rules. So, uh, first things first, I'm logged in as the admin under Settings and Miscellaneous. And just like every other feature that we first add to Closet Pro, there's an on-off switch right here. So all for multi multiple catalogs. It's going to default to known your system. You can turn it on right here. You just have to go down, update. And then uh, you may have to log out and log back in, but when you come back in, you'll have this catalogs tab over on the left. So if I click here, we have two sections under this. So let's go to main catalogs. And in here, I have uh, four catalogs already under this system. So closets, garage, closet with a two and a half toe kick, and skewed components. If you want to add a new one in the top right, just click add new, and it's just going to ask for a name. If I go into my closet catalog, in here we have a lot of settings for how this catalog is going to react. It's kind of similar to um, the miscellaneous page, but these are a little more um, catered to how the design is forcing in a direction. So let me let me just hop over to this garage catalog because it'll be easier to see. So we have a default shelving color in this garage catalog, meaning that white one inch is going to be the only color that can be for shelves. The backing is always going to be white one quarter inch, and you won't be able to change those colors when using this garage catalog. Um, you can also set default door styles, so double doors as a default. Uh, it's defaulting to be on the wall, and so you won't be able to swap it to the floor. Uh, you can have different settings like what finishes is available in, what front styles, um, if, beef, if uh, backing defaults to being on. Uh, you can set uh, garage legs and vert feet. We can show outside dimensions, hide any rods. Uh, let's always double panel as well. And so all these will apply whenever you start a design under the garage catalog. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Come back to catalogs. We have subcatalogs here. So if I, or actually, let me just sh hop back in here real quick. You can see up here we have the subcatalogs categories right here. And we currently have um, five options selected for this garage catalog. Empty space, miscell miscellaneous, tall cabinets, wall cabinets, and base cabinets. And so these are new subcatalogs that I've created. You can see a lot of the ones up here are ones that you may already recognize as our standard um, catalog in Closet Pro. So things like hang bars, drawers, shelves, those are all going to be in, in everyone's standard uh, closet catalog. But if I come back over to the subcatalogs, here's where we can see these. So down at the bottom here are my, the new subcatalogs I've added. And these are really just to, um, they're really just a name, and uh, under the components, you can assign components to the subcatalog. So it's really just that heading when you go to add or swap a unit, um, which category you're going to. So if you want to go to your shelving category, you go to shelves, and it loads up all the components that are assigned to that subcatalog. So let's hop over to components now, where we make this last connection. And I have a uh, garage cabinet that I have here. If I click in here, down at the bottom, you can see what subcatalogs it's assigned to. And you can assign it to multiple catalogs, so say it's also a shelving unit. So we want it to be in our standard closets shelving catalog, and then we also want it to be in our garage tall cabinets catalog. So uh, this can be good for if you want to set up a catalog with maybe a different size toe kick. Um, previously, it could be a little annoying in Closet Pro, but now you could have you know shelving uh, 2.5 toe kick and then shelving 3.75 toe kick or what whatever your other standard is so you can set up these catalogs or these these sub catalogs rather to have those specific units already built out rather than having to go in and swap out those toe kicks so we see we see all of our catalogs here and now um, how do we use those so if I go into my users table and I go into my customer record where I'm designing You'll now see up in the top right, right next to start new design, is this drop down. So we have closet, closet 2.5, garage, and SKU. And these are going to dictate what rules we're using when we start this design. So if I come into the garage and hit start new design, you'll see a lot of things are turned off already because I have those defaults set. So typically here you have the, the rods showing, but I turned off rods. 
um, you we would have a double versus shared panel I've turned that off as well and then we're defaulting to wall hung so you're really just selecting a color here and it's the colors that we're allowing we have attached to this garage catalog if I continue f through further I'll just go through this real quick so I can show you the the components being assigned so now if I come in and add a unit you'll see these are the sub catalogs that we had assigned to our garage so we have our base cabinets wall cabinets tall cabinets our miscellaneous and our empty space so if I add this tall cabinet you'll also see some of the rules that we had already set so the double doors are on there it's defaulting to white one inch shelving uh, there's a vert leg or a garage foot over here and so just a, a lot of uh, defaults are automatically being set for these for these units backings already in there these are all things that we set under the that garage catalog so coming back out I'll just show you what that garage catalog look like so here we have the the garage legs being assigned outside dimensions we didn't look at before but that's there rods are turned off double panel is being forced backing is being defaulted wall hung is being forced and then our shelving and backing color is also being forced as well as uh, every unit's getting a double door on it here are the colors that we allowed for this catalog so these are the only ones we were able to start with and then here are the sub catalogs that were assigned to it uh, one other place where uh, changes can be made to catalogs is under the miscellaneous page now so if I go to miscellaneous you'll see the same drop down up here and so um, I haven't changed too much between this and the closet catalog but if you see right here we have 46 as the minimum for the ceiling height on the garage if I switch to closet that changes back to 72 and that uh, will apply for everything on this page so if I um, change something under my garage catalog come in here uh, I currently have floor mounted units turned off I currently have base molding turned off um, no to top cleats, no box cleats, so all these things are specific now to that garage catalog so I come down back to in my closet you can see these have different options now so base molding is allowed floor mount units are allowed and if I go back to my designs you'll see when I hop in to my garage catalog we have a few things turned off over here due to, to, due to a lot of those settings that we set and so every time you load into the design that was started under one catalog it's going to use those uh, restraints that we set on it if I come out and then hop into one of my closet designs, one that was starting my closet catalog, I come in and now I have all these colors available. I have the rods here. So everything is um, being assigned by catalog now. So I know that's a lot. Um, essentially, it's you assign, you go into components, first create a custom component, come in and you assign it to the sub catalog that you want, and then assign that sub catalog to whatever catalog you want. And then you can start building out specific catalogs with specific rules um, that will react every time you enter the job. So if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us by email or phone. Uh, we'd be happy to help and help you set up any new catalogs if, if you need some help. So thanks for joining in. I'll uh, talk to you later.